Hello and welcome to the course. My name is Patrick and I will be your instructor for this course. In front of you is what you will be creating in this course. It's a traditional hangman word game, but with a twist. And the twist is that we will be bringing it into the 21st century with some additional features. At the top here, we have a simple menu. Over on the right hand side here, we have this icon. When you hover over the icon, a roll of a message will appear, which indicates we can change the word category. Clicking on the icon reveals a nice animated selection form. We can select a different category of word and then submit. Now, if you notice, the icon has now changed to an apple representing the fruits category. Also, a new word has been selected. And what we need to do is try and guess the word by clicking on these buttons. If you get the letter correct, it will be revealed in the word. Otherwise, the stick man will start to be drawn on the gallows. Now, the idea of the game is to try and guess the word before we run out of lives and the stick man is hung on the gallows. Note that the buttons you click on are automatically disabled to prevent you from clicking on again. Over here on the right hand side, you have a scoreboard which tracks various metrics such as the number of correct guesses, games won, etc. At the bottom here, we have the user's rating and this is calculated based on the percentage of correct guesses. You can reset the scoreboard if you click on this button here. If you notice a modal pop-up appears and you have to confirm that the reset should go ahead. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of features and a considerable amount of coding involved in the building of this game. However, if you followed any of my other courses, you will know that I explain every single step in detail. I will take you through the installation of the optional development environment, which includes Visual Studio Code, as you can see here, and we also install MAMP. You'll learn how to use Bootstrap to quickly style pages. And I'll also show you how to use Boot Swatch to quickly change themes. You'll use Font Awesome to implement some really cool icons. And as the course progresses, you will learn how to use jQuery. And I'll even show you how to implement an Ajax call. This course really does provide you with an opportunity to integrate many web development tools and libraries. So I hope you are excited to get coding. Let's get started.